Welcome back. Today's the day that I'm going to be teaching authentic makeup. I'm Kathy with Rising Sun Organic of Beyond 60. And what I've decided to do today is take you back on the true authentic art of makeup, the way I was trained years ago. I had the opportunity in the 80s to train with Marvin Westmore. And Marvin Westmore was a uh, in the family of Hollywood makeup artists that go back clear to the early 1900s. And it was such a joy to train with him because he taught us such a different approach that I'm going to teach you today. And you're probably wondering why I have broke this up into three sections. I've broke it up into enhance, define, and decorate because they are so important in the application of makeup and the art of makeup. And every one of you out there has a different approach. Maybe you want a, middle, a minimum of makeup, or maybe you like the little heavier look. But the actual procedure of going through each step is going to be for everyone. The makeup line I'm gonna be using today is Jane Iredale. And the reason why is I have brought her on a couple years ago. As most of you know, I'm a holistic practitioner, esthetician, and makeup artist. Um, and because her line is totally vegan, and it what they call the skincare cosmetics. So everything that she uses in her line is good for the skin, is making, um, per, making changes in the skin of hydration and so forth. Um, so I'm excited and I'm going to leave links down below and my um, code. So if there's something you want, but the other thing I want you is no matter what makeup line that you have or that you use, the steps are the same. So here we go. And the, like I said, the first is going to be enhancing and I have, I have, sorry. I'm dropping things already. Um, this is the step that, especially in aging makeup, that we that we leave out and everyone else leaves out because when I teach makeup, this is the most important. Even if you like that no makeup look, this is the most important step. And I'm um, gonna have to be putting my glasses on and off because I, I'm, kind of blind. I had cataract surgery and they're, they're not working quite well enough yet. But um, anyway, back to enhance. Um, that is the first step. And I know when people come in, they say, you know, I just don't like the way makeup looks on my face. Well, that's what I'm going to teach you is because as we age, you know, our pores get larger because of the, our muscles are starting to sag. And so we want to diffuse all that. And thankful today we have products in all lines that, that do that. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and I, my skin is nice and hydrated from my skincare, um, is I'm going to put on... Um, here goes my glasses. Um, I'm gonna put on my Smooth Affair Hydrating Primer from Jane Aradale. And she's got three different ones. She's got the uh, Illuminating Glow, she's got um, the Brightening, and she's got for Oil Free. But I'm going to be using today, my hands are crazy, um, the Illuminating Glow. So I'm gonna put it on. You can put it on with your fingers. I'm gonna put it on with a brush and I'm using their foundation brush because I like to keep a little bit of that in there when I'm applying it because it's just gonna, like I said, it's gonna help. Um, and again, a lot of times, uh, if people don't like wearing makeup during the day, I'm gonna show you so many different types today, is um, you can use a primer just to diffuse um, 
the, your pores and just kind of even out your skin tone. So it's um, it's very important. And again, I I ask this question all the time when I start working with my clients: is Do you use a primer? And 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 normally they didn't know what that was for, from. But we don't want the makeup or the the powder or whatever seeping into those pores and just accentuating. And I think that's what most people have have had the problems with. So I'm gonna let that soak in. I'm also going to take a, um, a primer for my eyes because here is another one. Um, pardon me for putting my head down. Um, this is, our as our eyes get a little older, um, they are, you know, they get drier because they don't have the oil cells that our skin does. So they're going to, um, your eyeshadow, if you don't use a good primer or a concealer, which I used for many years, they're going to just sink right in and the color will skip and not. So I'm going to just, I'm using a couple different ones. I'm using canvas and I'm using, um, Oh, honey bronze, I believe, or, and I'm just working. Cause as you see, um, as we, it, you know, it doesn't matter what age we start getting, um, discoloration in our eyelids. It might be red. It might be, um, brown, but you want to neutralize that, um, to, um, so it's not coming through your look and you could also just use, um, like I said, I'm going to kind of use both because I've, in you know, back years ago, all we had was concealer. So um, even if you're not going to wear eyeshadow or just put on a little liner, if you put your, um, you put your, your new, your, base on from your eyes or your concealer it's going to make a big difference and you can just powder over it put some mascara do your brows and you've got it done so the next thing that i'm going to use is the uh, i'm going to be using this little palette from jane Aradale, and this is the corrective colors because we have corrective colors for neutralizing uh if you've got uh, pigment or stuff so you have to and stuff you need to um, cover up we also have concealers and they're different we have I know in our line we've got probably six different types and again it's just where you are and I'm always looking for that authentic you so that's what I hope to accomplish in, accomplish in this three-part session that you can kind of just watch each part and look at your own stuff and kind of follow my steps and see if this makes a difference. So I'm going to take, um, as you see on me, um, this area has kind of, this is a fat pad loss, fat pad loss. And as we start getting older, we get a real dip in there. So it's, you, you, I need to almost cover that up and kind of make that, that ditch come forward. Um, and you can see how that did that. And I'm using one of the colors. There's, you can always do the corrective according to, you know, if you've got red, if you've got green, um, let's say, let's say you've got yellow cancels out red, Peach cancels out blue, purple, purple and gray. Lilac um, cancels out yellow, beige for all purpose. So that's kind of um, what I'm trying to do at this point and is cancel out that blue and raise that up. And I want to do this before I put on my foundation. And usually after I do my foundation, also I'll go back and kind of uh, see what, what what's playing and what needs to be, um, leads more tender care here. So I'm also going to take um, 
At this point, I'm going to take some concealer and I'm using her brand new concealer. And this is um, Enlighten Plus. And boy, this can cover, and that doesn't show very well, but Enlighten Plus. And it's got a little, um, this right here, if you wake up and, you're, and your eyes are all puffy, you can just take this and move it around and just kind of get some of that limp out of there so it's going to your makeup's going to look better and these are these are just kind of cold but it sure works so i'm going to and this is like i was just saying um this is going to work um i i can't get any out of there so i'm going to use this um i'm going to take a little bit of yellow uh, concealer and we're going to work that in and you can use your fingers I use brushes and 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 I'm using the brush right now is her concealer brush Jane Ardell you know I I just when I brought her line in I I had sold other lines for oh many 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 years and I just thought this was you know not for the smaller salon but being, um, I'm needing a vegan product line that wasn't going to harm the skin or do breakouts. That's what I needed. Even her brushes are made of synthetic. They're not from animals. She does no animal testing. So, and that just worked with my concept on how I, I run my um, skincare studio. So you could see I'm just putting a concealer on that, that just has... Um, and this has a little bit of yellow in it, even though my skin is more cool. And the biggest mistake that I see people do is if you if you look here and you see there's puffiness, and that's all from the kidney. And you don't want to get your concealer on that because it's going to make it more dominant. So I see them, boy, go and clear down here with their concealers. No, work with it. You know, like the other thing is, is where, where there's a ditch. Why does this look so prominent? Is because the light, it's indented and the light isn't hitting it. But if I put something in there, look how that just lifts that up from both sides. So... Um, I'll do a little bit more of a skin tone color on this side. I like to get in here, and of course these, you know, down here are Yogi Bear lines. That's what I call them. And you can also come and work it in here if your eyes are, are close set together. Um, and how you can really tell if your eyes are too far apart or close set together. If you look in a mirror, and look in 1D, because we're looking at 3D right now. Your eyes, this from here to here, to here, to the side of your head, should be five eyes across. Isn't that amazing how, how we were put together? So you can kind of just, like I said, in a one dimension, because you like you're in a mirror, you can measure that and see that and say, okay, well, where does, mo do I want to keep this part light? Do I want to keep this part dark, maybe my eyes are real close set or they're way far apart. So those are the things, that's why enhancing is such an important step. Okay, so we've gotten that done. So what we've done is so far is we have uh, put a primer on the face. We've put a primer on the eyes and, um, and that way we've lightened this up so, you know, our age isn't showing with the discoloration in our eyelids. Um, so I'm going to show you all the different types of makeup. Uh, and, and you can go on Jane Iredale's uh, website and actually take a makeup quiz and, a make, and see what best, what you choose what best is for you and the color. And you could always call me too. Um, so what I'm gonna be using today, the first one is, um, oh, this looks so strange. And when it came in, I thought, this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. But this was my savior during COVID. 
because everyone was not wearing that was quit wearing makeup because what was the purpose? We were all in masks. But this is a we call it liquid minerals. And what it is a hyaluronic based uh, oh, it's got such goodies in it that time release moisture to the skin all day long. But it's got these little beads in there that kind of neutralize the skin. This also can be used as a primer. Now, it's kind of strange when you first start using it. But I think this was the only thing I sold for almost a year and a half because being under those masks and being such a Petri dish, it was releasing time releasing nutrients to the skin all day long so it wasn't drying that out plus it was it was evening out the skin tone and when you use this i'm not going to use this today um it's kind of got like a cottage cheese effect when it first goes on but it's those little spears that are breaking open so you can use it on your face like i said it works good as a good primer but if you're wearing a mask like you said uh, what's the point? So I sold so much of this and still do today for the no non-makeup users, which, you know, it just makes their skin and evens out their pores and blurs all their lines. So that is my, probably my number one seller. And I had never even seen something like that. And then we have our second one. And this is what you people are always, uh, you're, you probably are very familiar with is the Dream Tints or the CC Creams or the BB Creams. And there's not a lot of coverage here, but it blends your sunscreen and your color kind of blended together. It's good for very athletic people. Um, and basically, you know, these type of things were only out, came out maybe 10 years ago. And they're great. Uh, this has got a sunscreen of, uh, I believe it's 20. Um, no, this one's 15. I'm sorry, I'm lying to you. Um, also, um, they have come out with one that I was very hesitant to use. It was called Beyond Matte. And, you know, at, at 70 years old, I'm not sure that you want to use a matte foundation. You know, I, I probably sell seven different types of foundation because everybody is different. Everybody wants a different look. But I saw, honestly, I saw through all my followers I, and the ones I follow, because I just love following all the makeup looks and the makeup channels on YouTube. But I knew after watching those for so long that I had to... Um, that I taught very different. And I'm sure that I'm teaching you something you, you've never been taught before. But that's why I'm doing it in the beginning. So when I start doing my future makeups, you're gonna understand where I'm coming from and what I'm doing. So hang in there with me. But anyway, when Beyond Matte came out, it was just something I don't need to stock. I don't need to have it in my, um, my tester unit because I don't have matte people. Um, but I was very, very wrong, very wrong. Um, when I started using it, because I saw Sean, uh, the makeup, uh, uh, the international makeup artist for Jane Airedale, use it, and it was beautiful. And she was over seventy years old. So I have brought this in, and I'm, I'm, it's, it's the lighter uh, to medium coverage. And it comes in several colors, I think about 18 different colors. And it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And, and again, back to all of her makeup being skincare makeup, um, I'm just gonna put a little bit on. Um, it's, it's nourishing to the skin. It is like skin, it is, it's skincare. Okay, and I'm just kind of working this in. Um, it's, it's going to help like, like I talked about with the liquid minerals, it's going to, it's going to, uh, time release hydration during the day. So, so you can see just a nice, uh, makeup right there. 
All right, then the next one that I'm going to use, and of course this is just, I, I don't use it every day, but this is called their Glow Time, and their Glow Time is full coverage. But with full coverage, um, you only need a probably a little over a pea size. Hey, Denise. And because it has so much coverage, if you need more coverage, um, I don't, you just need to blend it out more because if you use just too many layers of this, you look like you have a makeup. So we call it a, a full coverage. And I'm going to, I'm putting it on with her, her makeup brush and, and there's other things that you can put it on too. I like to go back and, and just kind of blend it in with a sponge. So I'm just working, working it in until I can see. And I don't have a lot of things to cover uh, as far as pigmentation, I've never been a sun worshiper. Um, but um, you can, like I said, you can go back. I always, this this is changing the subject, but I always have my clients on a light one and a dark one. So, because you, you do um, need one a little bit different, even if you're not a sun worshiper in the summertime. And what I do is I have them put on the light first, and then I will go through the center of the face with the darker one. <coughs> Pardon me. That way you're not getting that that line around your neck of it being too dark. Um, excuse me just a second here. Um, so we can take a sponge and we can blend it out. Uh, all right, so we're blending this out. And there's, there's a lot of different ways to, um, sometimes of how you put your makeup on. And uh, again, you know, when you've done something for so long, it's high, high, high to, hard to uh, train an old dog new tricks. But a lot of times you're going to see on the videos that they're doing their foundation last. And that's okay, too. So you can, but um, the way that I was taught, I always go back. Now, sometimes I will say my powdering to last. So we... Um, because we're gonna, we might get fallout from when we go into the decorative state. So I'm kind of blending. So let's say that at this point, we've neutralized the palette. Um, it's like an artist, you know, you don't want, or if you're gonna paint a wall, you don't want all the kids' crayons on there. And that's kind of what our skin looks like as we age. We have different, the different pigmentations in the colors. Um, but if if you just wanted a a just natural look just for every day, you could actually at this point go into the decorate, which will be the next. Uh, I mean, pardon me. Um, uh, you've got enhanced decorate and all right, enhance. Okay, now I'm forgetting. Um, but what you could do is you could go in. And define is what the word that I'm coming up with. And so you want to put in your powders or your blusher, do your brows. Maybe you want a little eyeliner, but I would take, you know, some, some powder and powder the concealer in so it's going to keep it all day long. And put some lipstick on and you can go out the door. That's why I'm saying this is the most important step because what people do is they go into define and decorate right away and it doesn't look it doesn't look good. You know, it's sitting in the pores, it's your pores look big on your nose. And um and so let me kind of go into the next couple uh 
bases that we have with Jane Iredell. She has, uh, she has come out with her amazing base, okay? An amazing base was her first makeup she ever developed. She was an, a makeup artist in Hollywood with actresses. And in those days, just like when I trained with Marvin, um, in those days, oh, the makeups were awful. They were just so poor clogging and and just so comedogenic to the skin. And and so it would you could have to work so hard to get that all covered for the camera. So the first makeup base that she made that she uh, brought in was called her Amazing Base. And that was a loose foundation, triple milled, that, would, that was healthy for the skin, but she was able to get enough coverage with that, with that powder. And, um, and that just started this whole revolution of Jane Iredale. Um, and this is how she came out with it just recently, which is great because you refill the bottom. It comes with two refills in your color and you can just put the cap on this and it's got sunscreen in it and you can just, um, you know, set your makeup. And I was getting to the point where, okay, I'm getting older. I probably shouldn't use powder. Uh, because it lays in the lines and so forth. Well, that so many different powders have changed nowadays. We we have just magical ones out there, and so um, I'm not going to do it right this minute. But I'm I am going to powder my face uh, lightly and um, and powder my eyes. The other, the next step after that is, all right, so let me get my mess cleared up here, is taking um, your setting spray. And she's got, I believe now, five or six different setting sprays. I'm kind of uh, working this powder in just to kind of set my makeup. And you want to work your powder down, just like I was you need to work your makeup down. Just kind of streak it and then work it. So, you know, this like this is, is messing up your, it's just better to work it down. Um, so what we've done so far, okay, like I just started, we started with our, with our uh, primer for our eyes. We started with our primer for our face. And um, then I put some corrective under my eye and we've put, so I used a little bit of concealer also on my eye. And you want to set that either with your powder, your face powder, or maybe a neutral matte shadow would be great to set that. And um, honestly, at this point, um, you're there for the enhancement part. Um, and then, like I said, she's got about, you always want to set it. And this, this, um, this is the new lavender one. Oh my gosh, it is just wonderful. And these have just been introduced. And there's different ones. There's pomegranate, there's rose, there's ones, there are ones that hydrate the skin during the day. There's one for combination skin and for oily skin. So those are the things that um, they set your makeup. And so even if your line that you're using, make sure you have a good setting makeup, setting uh, serum. Can I do it? No, I'm sorry. It's not a serum. It's a spray. But it, it kind of just really sets all this in so it stays and keeps your skin hydration because it's all about hydration. Um so this just about completes my first section of this. And this is my enhancing. So we've taken it, like I said, just like an artist. We've cleaned that palette. We've made it look as, as uh, smooth and covered up the discoloration. So now we have time to go in and define. And what's define all about? My second step. We're going to take a little break. I'm going to reset up so you can you can stop these videos and then kind of practice. And then you can go into the next video and learn to see what the divine is all about. So stay tuned for the second one.